Hello everyone, welcome to new tutorial on programming knowledge. So today we are going to create a fake JSON server using the npm package and we are going to implement CRUD operations using Postman. So this tutorial will help you how to like how we uh, integrate with an REST API. So basically we are going to create a JSON uh, a JSON file and then we are going to run a server which will emulate that JSON file to a REST API. Then we will implement all the CRUD operations using the REST API and this would help us with a very good knowledge. So let's create a JSON file. So we will manually create a JSON file so that uh, we will get the idea how we can implement it and how the REST API works. So this is going to be very interesting and a very unique tutorial. Uh, so let's start with it. So basically a JSON file is a key value pair. Uh, basically all the object, uh, JSON file has uh, objects and those objects are internally key value pairs. So basically we have nested objects. Uh, here you can see in the my screen that I'm giving some nested objects and we basically all those objects are key value pair. So that for every key we have a value. So this is how we define a JSON uh, like JSON file. So then it can internally have more nested objects and we can keep going uh, at a very uh, high level or nested level and basically internally uh, it must be having a key value pair okay so let's create a json array which would emulate as a mock api so i will show you how we can do that so let's create a json file with meetings and inside this meeting let's create an array so basically it's a json object which has meeting and inside this uh, uh, json uh, in the, uh, like we have a json object here then we have a meetings as a key and for that value we have an empty array and for every element in the array we have like few objects so this is how we are going to do so i hope you're getting the point that we have multiple objects so in this array so i will emulate them i will also fill them up okay so let's okay now i have formatted them so let's fill them first is the id which could i give, give them as one and the title could be uh, i can give it as google meet and the same way day i can give this as monday so this looks perfectly fine and in the same way I can okay in the same way I can fit all the other JSON objects like this like this and like this and I can do this also as well so okay so I can fill them why I'm filling myself so it will give you good architecture how it works so this I can give this as ID 2 and I can give this as Tuesday Tuesday and let me do this as Skype okay so let me do this as Skype and I'll give this as ID 3 and I'll change this to Wednesday and I'll give this as uh, I'll give another Microsoft Teams and in the same way I'll give ID 4 and ID 5 so I can as this as any other app like WhatsApp and I'll give this as Thursday okay and I'll give this as uh, Webex I'll put this as Friday. So I hope like you have a like a JSON object which has a key meetings and for that meetings key we have a value which is a JSON array and that JSON array we have every key value that is ID title day ID title day and keep on going. So we have created a JSON file. Now what you can do you can install this package npm install minus globally JSON server then create a db.json file with some data we have already completed the step one and two like you can run this uh, command on your machine and you can install the json server but please make sure that 
prior to this step you have node.js installed on machine okay. so basically uh, you should have node.js installed on your machine okay so i'll highly recommend that that you install node.js prior to this so just to make sure that no, uh, i'll give a star node.js should be installed okay so then only you can run the npm command and then you can uh, only run this package so node.js should be installed and you should install the node.js from the official website okay then i have to type this command json server minus watch db.json so let me copy and paste this command and you can see that it has created a rest api basically a mock json server on this localhost slash 3000 meetings and basically you can now use this as a rest api so let's move ahead with postman and try this on our postman uh, postman so what I need to do, so what you can do, you can uh, simply copy this, okay, and you can paste it here and you can send a request. So here you see, like, I see the beauty of the postman, you get all the, like, all the, you can get all the data in the form of a REST API. And just, I made sure that I coded each and every, okay you can so just i made sure that i wrote my data myself so that you get a better architecture of the json file json file works so now it has used the prettier format to show you the data now what i'll do let's perform the first operation so the first operation we are going to perform the basically we are going to implement the crud operations so let's operate uh, use the read operation so basically to uh, get the particular meeting what you need to do you need to attach a key at the end of the url so let's do one so i'll have the first meeting okay that's perfectly fine let me do two so i have the second meeting and in the same way i can do three and four and five and i'll get all the meetings okay so this is the get request so let me do a form a delete operation so I'll click on delete and I'll delete the uh, meeting with the ID 3. So let me send this. So it has now deleted. So let me now, now please make sure that I performed a delete request. Okay. Now I'll move back to the get and I'll do all, I'll check all the meetings. And here you see the, uh, uh, here you can see the data with the ID 3 is deleted. And on the, uh, you, when I move my move to my db.json, even here it is also deleted. So let's see how wonder it is moving. And here I can get to see the records, which is the get, delete, get. So delete operation has been performed and it has been really deleted from the file. Now what I can do, I can, I have uh, showed you the delete operation. So the read is done. Basically, delete is also done. Okay. Now I'll make create. Okay, so let's do the create operation. So for that, I'll change it to post, and I'll move to the body part. And what I can do from the body, I can click on raw, and the raw should be selected as JSON. So I'll repeat body, then raw, and JSON, and it is a post request. So let me make an. Uh, I'll remove this. I'll start from scratch. Let's take an ID of 99 just a random id title is equal to uh, let me do this as no work today no work today and let me change the day to sunday okay so we are sending a json object sunday and let's make a request so hopefully we'll send this so it returns to me the same JSON object. So let me move my request to get and let me check all the. Now it's a get request. So earlier it was a post in which we start send the data. Now we are making a get request. So let's send data and here you can see I have the data 99 Sunday. Okay. And now let's operate or make the last that is the uh, update. So for update you can use put or patch. So basically, you need to define the uh, body. You need to define 
the day is sunday and i'll do this as okay uh now you don't need the id for the port operation now i'll do okay now i'll do patch or it's up to you uh, i'll do patch and for that i'll choose 99 and i'll do change of plan so let me type change of plan okay so so now the id 99 has been patched title change of plan and the day it remains the same so let me check you that this would now change so let me send a request so now it says id 99 title change of plan and the day is sunday because we change the title only for that particular id so let's make a get request again to see if uh, what's happened now i'll make a all the request now here you can see it has been edited now even for the uh, particular id it's also changed so this is how we implemented all the four operations so thank you everyone for watching this tutorial i'll catch you in the next tutorial so thank you everyone so this is the final operation guide implemented update thank you